the I am Baek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you will be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. Apollodorus. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are Ayas Magi, huh? Any other survivors? In... Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Baek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. Well, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Ah. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Karnopos, man. I can't risk that someone reached. In here. Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of, is all. Huh? Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. 
I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria. Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy. ...responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. is up ahead. The Queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the Queen, bend your knee in deference. 
Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly. In measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. She caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Not all the way. She doesn't hold the crowd. Please. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! You were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the Order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. 
protector of the true pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow, I need someone for one quick job. It's a good coin. No, not you. You you keep going. Do not stop. You, that insignia. You are a man of honor. There are so few remaining. I am a Magi. I solve problems. Good. I have one. A most precious treasure which must be delivered today. You will be well compensated for your work. Here are some drachmas to start. The city is much more expensive than I'm used to. Good! It is settled. Follow me. The thing I ask you to do is of the utmost importance. Of course it is. Being a merchant is no simple matter, sir. I assure you, moving tiger skins or even statues is not easy work. Ah, these workers never when you tell them to be. As I was saying, you must be quick. Oh! And do not stray from your task, at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your... cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. She? I have your bodyguard, Kara. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, daughter. Wait, no, this hardly seems to be what you asked. Magi, I will put drachmas down your throat as long as she is safe. Kara, remember the reception tonight. You will be ready. Of course, father. I would not miss it. I am so happy you have come to assist me, sir. We will get you home fast. Do not worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my bull. You look just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Finally. Change of plans, Heracles. Who? Ah, no matter. Child, it's time to return you home. I will not go. Have you met the priests here? Dull. Now, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian women. I need them. Or what? I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, even if you survive, father will be quite angry. Anubis, take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise, sent to test me? What was that? Nothing. Good. First, we must get my horse. She's been treated absolutely terribly without me around. You'd think someone would clean this water. Ugh. You guide the boats well. Much better than any of my other bodyguards. You know, if you want to go fast, it would be all right. Look at the city, Medjai. You must be so intimidating for someone like you. I simply adore this part of the city. So rustic. You can smell it in the air. They live a truly simple life here. Pegasus simply can't wait to be reunited with me. Of course, you named your horse Pegasus. Oh. Cheer up, bodyguard. <laughs> Young miss, it's so nice to see you again. As you asked, she has been given new shoes. There now, was that so difficult? Now out of my pay. The deal was only to get you home, not to pay for your horse. I'm sure my father would not be pleased with you discussing this in front of him, horseman. Of course. Uh, I'll discuss it with your father. Oh, Pegasus, I know you missed me. Yes, you did, you beautiful creature. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard.
That is it. I am taking you home, Princess Kara. Oh, all you big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. I should just leave you here. You're duty bound to deliver me, are you not? Who would know if I left? Your conscience would, of course. Look there, bodyguard. Th that is where I had my first discussion with the soldier. I am sure he was very grateful. We must stop at the market for more linens. I will take you to your house as your father bade, and nowhere else. Now lead on. You know, you are absolutely destroying my chances at eating the perfect linens. There are different kinds of linen? You are much more serious than my usual bodyguards. You could move faster, bodyguard. I have a name! Bayek. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose names? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I can. Gara. Gara. Yes? If we go find your linens, you'll be happy. If we go find your linens, would you be happy? You have an interesting stare. Thank you. We are close. Finally. show some promise. Ah, oh, it's so heavy. Would you help me? <laughs> Bayek! Pegasus! They stole my horse! Stay here. Do not leave. Whoa there, girl. Hey, time to get you home. Your troublesome mistress will have missed you. Pegasus, huh? I like it. It suits a horse. I would like your spirit. Over here, Bayek! Papa, since Pegasus was limping, Bayek went to deal with her shoe. It was only gone a moment. Oh. I heard some commotion, but according to my little princess, you're the hero of the day. Can he always be my bodyguard? Please, father? How much does it cost to hire a Medjai permanently? I am here only a short while. Alas. Then allow me to grant you a hero's pay for a hero's service. Bayek, you've returned to me. Are you ready to be my personal Magi? Uh, well, uh, no. I, I continue. Y you see... Uh... <laughs> you are so gullible, Bayek. I'm only happy to see you still in one piece. Best bodyguard in this city. <laughs> 